Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a couple of things, um, one of which I already reviewed, but I'm, I think I made the mistake of putting it at the tail end of my video and I, I feel like it's kind of getting overlooked and it's so beautiful that I, I'm going to take another shot at it be, so that you guys don't get mit, it doesn't get missed. These um, are from CSY Art Gallery and I, I put them at the tail end of um, some completed coloring pages uh, and I, I really want to make sure you guys see these. Um, the other thing that I just, it just came in yesterday from Art Philosophy Watercolor Confections and it is uh, vintage pastels and I was like Ooh. <laughs> and th this CSY was my first time having individual little ones like this where I had to uh, unwrap them aside from my Arteza um, but I will show you the CSY again in a bit first of all I want to show you guys these um, and here's the swatch chart and uh, it this one the colors are uh, named and numbered and I will put that in with the description nice nice color chart by the way I really like how they've got it organized it's very clear very um, easy to understand so that's a bonus now this is kind of where you could put some water. Um, here you could put a little paint or you could switch it up. But this is kind of like the setup that Arteza has for their metallic watercolor half pans, where it's two rows uh, and each one kind of fits in pretty snugly. Like you gotta kind of really work it to get it out. They, that's why it's really, see how the trouble I'm having getting it out. <laughs> <sighs> which is a good thing I mean you want it you want it snug like that um, but I kind of kind of like the loose way that the CSI's were I, I kind of like that because it made it made it a lot easier to get out there it goes and these look like they're kind of set up like I said uh, before kind of like the Arteza's um, and it has a little sticker with, um, the name, let's take it, let me adjust this a little, there we go, with the, um, name and number. So when I unwrap it, I would try to unwrap it carefully and I will put the sticker on the bottom of the actual pan. And I'm also going to keep them in order as it was delivered because I, I'm hoping that it's, the same, you know, that the, the swatch, the way it's laid out is the same as here. They are not always the case. That is not always the case. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, um, show you guys these real quick before I unwrap them. Aren't those pretty? I was like, ooh, ooh. and it's, uh, I got them 17% off on Amazon for $25. It says the list price is 30. Um, I also have Amazon Prime, so I get free shipping a lot of times, and believe me, it's, it is, if you don't have Amazon Prime and you have access to it, I highly recommend it. Um, it will save you a ton of money. It, there's a, like a small fee every month, and it, it will save you a lot of money. So, having said that, I'm going to now, um, tell you what the hold on a second okay let's see it says here um doo -doo. okay there we go uh hopefully that's focusing there we go stone gray 114 suede 113 terracotta 112 golden glow 111 sage 110 Periwinkle 109, Dusky Mauve 120, 
Apple Blossom, 119. I bet that one's gonna be really pretty. Uh, Dark Rose, 118. Charcoal, 117. Soft Lilac, 116. And Breezy, 115. So I'm going to now uh, unwrap these and I'll be back. Okay, so get some little music going and I have them undone. So these colors are absolutely stunning. Um, it took me a minute to get them all unwrapped as you can tell. <laughs> wow. Now, I was wrong about something. The wrappers do not have the stickers on them. Okay. I thought they did. And as you can tell, it does. It has the name and number. Um, but each pan does have, and I figured out how to get them out better. Each pan does have a little sticker with the number. I don't know if you can see that. And it already came like that. I didn't have to do anything. So that's good. It gives you some way to identify um, this. Now, I also highly recommend investing in one of these because it made it a lot easier to get all them little bitty wrappers off. Just kind of slide it under the seam. Highly recommend it. It's in the Cricut section at, at like your local Michaels or whatever. I highly, highly recommend one of these. <laughs> so, that aside, um, let's check something out. It looks like... It looks like they are in order, I think. Let's see. Well, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Either way, the numbers are on the pans and the numbers are correct with the colors. So that's kind of what matters. Um, what I thought I would do, Arteza had a like a swatch with paper this color and then they had one that was black, which I thought was super cool. Because as you know, this kind of water media especially can be vastly different on black paper. So I took the paper that I used my uh, to swatch my CSY um, pans, uh, and I'm going to use the other side to do that so we can see what it looks like in black. But oh my gosh, you guys, look at these colors! Ah, look at those colors, aren't those pretty? So let's see. All right, let's find a appropriate pen. Sometimes I use these kind and sometimes I just use regular. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing and the paper. You know, it really does depend. So let's see. Periwinkle is 109, so let's see if it's... This. Oh, 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 fell right out of the... Uh-oh. Well, um... That's something to look out for, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Sorry, I'm easily amused. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Let's see if I can get this back in here right. That was not supposed to come out like that. Anyway, it's still not back in. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Okay. So it says 109 and the number 109 matches on the chart here. So it's the same. Um, let's see this one, 110. So it's the same. Uh, and then there's the golden, which is this one. Sorry about that. And terracotta, uh, suede. I think this is suede. 113. Yep. So they are in order. Yes, they are in order. And then stone gray. So they are actually in order. Okay, cool. Now, I am new to these kinds of things. I felt this is only my, my third set. I have the Arteza Metallics, which, oh my gosh, those are amazing. Please see my review uh, of the Arteza Metallic uh, watercolors. It's under tutorials, reviews, and demos. It is, I'll try to put a 
an N note to it, N card to it. I'm still learning how to do a lot of things, so bear with me. You know, I still have a lot to learn. Um, but yeah, let's let's uh, let's get to swatch in here. Ooh, so no. Um, anyway, let's get back to this. Let me zoom back in. There we go. I apologize. There we go. All right. All right. Anyway, this paper should be able to handle this. So you just give it a gentle squeeze. And sometimes these do get clogged up, though, especially if you're using a water soluble crayon, they will get kind of clogged up. And you have to take it off and kind of run some water through it. Um, that is a thing. So, anyway. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. That is completely changing. That is crazy cool. Now, let's get this over here. So you guys can see. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to get just a little bit more. Squeeze a little water on. You don't want too much water, but you want like a medium amount probably. In this case, actually, maybe uh, maybe a light amount would do because I have seen that this is extremely pigmented. Even more so than the CSY ones. This is extremely pig pigmented. I mean, it's crazy pigmented like wow wow we now if you get to where i'm trying to look for something here just kind of get a little paper towel which i should have on hand and i don't or you could get a little rag and just kind of dab it if, if it's, you know, a little too much on the end. Like, I don't like that. So I'm just kind of, and you want to pick up some of that pigment, just kind of go like that. And so that way I get an idea of how it looks when it's totally faded out and then so that's kind of the look I was after so always keep a little jar handy um because you still have to rinse your brush out and if you want to know how I did this um feel free to pop it in the comments and ask me um it wasn't hard at all so let's try uh sage oh Ooh, it's so pretty Wow, these cards are gorgeous. Uh, oh, wowie. For 25 bucks and some change, you guys, this is so worth it. Oh, my gosh. So worth it. Oh, oh my cat's awake. <laughs> My new kitty's awake. I, I apologize, guys. He's seven months old. He was a Christmas gift. And he was, when I started this video, was napping. And he is now awake and letting his presence be known. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. Oh, he's laying back down. Oh, good. Okay. Look at that. Here, I'll show them to you guys. There he is. This is Felix. And he is such a cool cat. He is a, he's something else. But that's Felix. Say hi, Felix. Oh no, he's napping. He's out again. Good. Anyway, on we go. All right. I thought you guys would enjoy that. So if you hear him every often, oh, and he's so food crazy. Oh my gosh, this, it's, he he will like if he smells something yummy on his my fingers, he will literally bite my fingers. <laughs> he is like garbage 
too. Anything on the floor, uh, it's like having a toddler in the house again. All right, so back to this. Um, we have the next one is, uh, oh, let me get this better. Don't want to mix the colors up. We have terracotta. Oh, and the other cat's coming downstairs. We also have a 16 year old um, female that is not very amused uh, with the seven month old. Yeah. He's like the annoying little brother that you just can't stand kind of scenario. Yeah. It's a little like that. So let's see. This is terracotta. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's beautiful. <gasps> beautiful. Wow. That is absolutely stunning. <laughs> These colors are amazing. Wow. I am beyond in love, you guys. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next one we have is uh, suede. Give it a good squeeze. Let the water just run down the barrel. Sorry, I hope you can't hear that. My other one is uh, having to go at her scratching post. Well, big time. Uh, we have this huge tree, a uh, cat tree too, that, oh my gosh, this thing is like th three levels to it. It's huge. All right, so we have um, stone gray, which is the next one. Ooh, that's so pretty. Wow. Wow. That's gorgeous. That's like a French gray. To me, that stone gray kind of reminds me of a 50% French gray. Like in Prisma, maybe. That's what that kind of reminds me of, honestly. Okay, so the next one says um, Breezy, which is this one over here. Let me make sure that's the one. I wanted to make sure it was, I wasn't off camera. I don't have anybody to tell me, unfortunately, like in a live, ch you know, stream. So, um, yeah, there we go. All right, let's pull this over. Okay. Wow. These colors are gorgeous. Goodness. A little definitely is going to go a long way with this. A little is a long going a long. I'm mean, actually having to wipe some of pigment off, which is a uh, an extreme waste in order to get the swat kind of swatch that I want. And so I'm I'm learning as I go here that these are super 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 pigmented, and less is more. <laughs> yeah. As you guys can tell, I've been on a quite the um, wet media kick lately. I don't know. I'm just... I, I'm sure we all go through phases like that. Um, and eventually, I'll probably go back to the pencils. Um, oh, jeez. They're having a little tiss, tissy fit with each other. She still doesn't care for... Yeah. She still doesn't care for him. She's like, get out of my face. <laughs> All right, that was soft lilac. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. Woo wee, y'all. <laughs> These colors are gorgeous. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, geez, hold on. Oh, sorry. I had to yell at them to just, just knock it off. I was like, ugh, stop. <laughs> All right. I mean, she's 16 years old, which in the human years is like 80, 90. I don't know. It's, you know, she's a little, it's about 80 years old in human years, I think. So she's old and she's not too amused with the younger one. So anyway, back to this. 
Honestly, charcoal. I love. Oh wow! I think I picked up way too much pigment, guys. Look at that. Way too much pigment. Uh, yeah. There's. Wow. Look how opaque that is. Woo! Holy cow! That is like so opaque. I'm actually gonna have to rinse my brush, which is what a waste. Oh my gosh! That is so opaque. Wow. Wow, we. Wow. Another thing you can do, since I don't have any of my um, Q tips handy, is just get a clean brush and kind of do that, and that'll pick up that extra pigment. So. Let's see. Uh, okay, so again, now we have dark rose. Oh, look at that. that's gorgeous. Okay, that should be enough. Ooh, wow, that's beautiful. It has almost like a metallic feel to it. Uh, wow, this is beautiful. Okay, you know what? Excuse me one second, guys. Uh, this song is super stupid. <laughs> I have some, like, background stuff playing, and I was like, what the heck is that dumb thing that they're playing? I'm like, nope, nope, moving on. Next. <laughs> Next. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. That was dumb. Copyright-free music is nice. Because I really can't afford to buy a bunch of music, but that was dumb. I don't know what that was, but okay. Um, and I believe, yeah, oh yeah, this is the color I was very interested in. This pretty soft apple blossom. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Ooh, I have a feeling this is going to be rather opaque. For being such a light color, it's going to be super opaque. Um, and it is. Oh. This is gorgeous. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So, I apologize for the occasional hissing there. Still getting to know each other. Anybody with animals, especially cats, and understands the process, it's it, it's like, oh gosh, really, guys? Okay, last one is Dusky Mauve. Ooh, this is so sparkly. This one's a little glittery. And it's not, it's not very opaque, but it's, so it's a little more translucent, but it's very glittery. Wow. Okay, so cat drama and all. Uh, let's zoom out just a little bit. Wow, look at that, guys. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Oh, Lord. Drama, drama. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous, guys? Ooh, wee. And these are. Oh, jeez. You... I'm sorry, guys. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. These are gorgeous. Back to these beautiful things. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we have it in on the swatch that came with it. Now, I thought we would, if the cats will cooperate, jeez, um, do, do it real quickly. Um before I have a war on my hands. Um, do a little quick swatch on the black paper and see how it goes. So I'm not going to put the names on, but I'm going to do them in this order, which is the order that they're in, in the tin. Okay? So, um, again, it's uh, Periwinkle. Hmm. 
it seems a lot more translucent on the black paper. Oh, now my neighbor's ducks are having a go. Wow. Y'all just ever have one of those days? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I will say this. I think metallic pigment like this it tends to look better on the black paper. Um, and while this looks good, it kind of looks better on the regular paper. But it doesn't look bad, as you can tell. I think it looks it's pretty decent. What, Felix? You're the one that was harassing her. <laughs> Brought that on yourself, little man. <laughs> All right, so next up is Sage. Hmm, it looks, they just look so completely different on, on black paper. It's just mind-blowing. Now this one's pretty opaque. Um, make sure you guys can still see. Okay, good. Um, and this one is the um, Golden Glow. It's it's fairly opaque. It's still a little bit translucent, but it's le it's more opaque than the other. And opaque means that you can see through to the paper less, whereas translucent is kind of a little bit see through. And watch out, sometimes these. Things you saw that that sometimes they will drip and it dripped right out at the the crack where it screws on, so and it can also drip out the here. So just words to the wise. Okay, moving on. Oops, hold on a second. I didn't rinse my brush good enough, and I got a mix of colors. Yikes, we don't want that. Okay, let's try that again. And this one is the terracotta. Ooh, that's really, really opaque. I think so far that might actually be my favorite one on the black paper. Ooh, that's pretty. Now, as you can tell, they are drying com almost completely different, um, which is very interesting. So, this is the um, suede which is also fairly opaque. Anybody else sort of fussy about their swatches looking nice? I don't know. That's just me, I guess. Um, let's see. Uh, this is the stone gray, which is kind of like the French gray to me. I get a little more. Oh, geez. Now the neighbor's dogs are having a go. Uh, <laughs> sorry guys. Uh, they are barkers. Anyway, one of them's a strange shepherd and he just barks at anything and everything. Well, he's part of strange shepherd. He's, he is crazy. Believe me, the dog is nuts. He's sweet, but he's nuts. All right. So now we have breezy. Well, looks like my little one has settled into his perch beside my desk and is once again minding his own business. <laughs> oh, man. See, this is just a microcosm of a day in my life, guys, lately. It's... <laughs> All right. Uh, soft lilac. Oh, pretty. A little more. I find that I need a little more pigment on the black paper for these than I um, did like the metallics or the, uh, whether it be in the Arteza or the uh, CSY. Let's see, just a little this black goes a long way. I don't know if it'll show up on the black paper at all. Because that's like doing white on white, you know, like white pencil when you are swatching your pencils and you just have a white pencil and you're like, well, I have white paper with it, you know. Should I even bother? <laughs> okay. And we have dusk, uh, yeah, dusky rose. Dark rose, excuse me, my bad. Dark rose. Watch again, you see how the paper's kind of 
going or the water's kind of going everywhere. Uh, these things do leak sometimes. So that's just ooh, this is glittery. I thought the apple blossom was the only one that looked glittery, but this one is kind of glittery too. All right, so now we have the apple blossom. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Now, last but not least, is the dusky moth. Okay. Oh, things are quiet again. Yay. <laughs> this is a day in my life, guys. All right. Now, this one got wet a little bit, so... As you can see, though, the way they're, these dried on the, the off-white type paper that they provided is roughly about the same as when I put it down. They did dry a little bit. Some dried a little bit darker. Um, well, so a couple like the apple blossom dried a little bit lighter. Um, the black is, that charcoal is stunning. That charcoal is absolutely stunning. Um... Now, this is interesting. Um, sorry, that got wet by the brush. Um, but as you can see here, they are drying very, most of them are drying very translucent, um, except where the mo very utmost pigment is applied. Um, as of course, you can't really see the black one at all, but um, I would say on the pa black paper, I would say the dark rose... The apple blossom, surprising considering it's one of the lightest colors. Um, the terracotta. And let's see, I'm trying to remember which one this one was. Um, do do. Uh, do do. Hold on a second. Do do. I believe this was the stone gray. Sorry. There we go. Um, yeah, they're drying very rather translucent. Um, yeah. So that is those. Now back to the one that I did at the tail end of the video of the a completed pages video. I'm gonna put this aside. Twenty five bucks and some change, guys. Um, on sale right now. For 17% off, these are absolutely stunning. I love them. By uh, Art Philosophy. And there's even a little swatch on the outside. Love them. Now, this is the CSY that I did on uh, black paper. And these are, aren't these absolutely stunning? Look at those. So... If I'm remembering correctly, the box was not very helpful. I'm not gonna lie. It, you know, this was the box. It, it, it did not have a swatch on it. Even this box has a little swatch on it. This one did not. Um, so I don't 100% remember the colors, but this is like a silver kind of a color. This was a copper type metal. This is kind of like a like a yellowish gold and I think these might actually have the names on the back yeah they do okay um, this was uh, golden copper uh, let's see and this one is golden pearl Ta -da! Isn't that gorgeous look at that Woo. Um, this color was the second most intriguing one to me. It was a, like, a, it was called red brown. And you see how it looks dry? When it's wet, it, it turns on regular paper. It turns like a, um, it's pretty true to color on black paper. But when you, um, do it on white paper, it, it looks completely different. Um, this is Inca Gold, which is absolutely gorgeous. 
And the other one that was very surprising and behaved very differently on the black paper versus like the off-white was this green, uh, brown green. Look at that. It's like a chocolate green, I think they said. Let's see. Yeah, chocolate green. Look at that. And then you can see that like iridescent brown in it. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can pull out my wet meter folder for you guys to show you. Um, it... It's absolutely stunning. Move this stuff out of the way. Did I pull it out? I might have. Hold on a second. Oh, I guess I did. Yeah. Okay, I guess I did pull it out. Oh, here it is. Well, that's my brief flip through of my wet media. Okay, so there it is. Um, look at that that difference. This is like a, like a kind of off-white type paper and you see how the chocolate green is let's see if you can see you see how different that is and the red brown i mean it's yeah very cool right let me make sure you guys can see this is the csy and you see what i mean by absolutely stunning especially on this um absolutely stunning stunning now look how that dried on the black it's very the um art philosophy dried very very translucent um a little bit dull but on the um off white type paper it's kind of about the same maybe a little darker so yeah there's that, and then, oh, and I just stained my nice little, man, I tell you what, trying to keep this thing clean is a nightmare. Anyway, back to these. Um, these were a, like, uh, the CSYs were 11 and some change for the sixth set. Not bad at all. And the R Philosophy was 25 and some change. I wouldn't really suggest them on bl black paper. The art philosophy, I think, because they're not metallic, um, this is kind of how they are doing on the black paper. I, th I would recommend um, just like off-white or white paper with them. But with the CSYs, oh, look at that. It's like, damn. <laughs> so, uh, I have stains on these guys. I apologize for how dirty it is. I bleached it and I just, I can't get it clean. I may have to get a new one. So I apologize for this. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend both of these. They're really, really beautiful, beautiful watercolors. So yeah, that's it for today. I apologize for all the drama. As you can see, everything is nice and quiet now, of course, because I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, stay safe and have a blessed one, guys. And happy painting and happy coloring.